Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how to embed a Flowdesk inline form into your Show It website and blog posts. So we have a bit to cover, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is actually access the embed codes within our inline form. If you haven't set up your inline form yet, I have a whole video on how to set up a automated workflow within Flowdesk to deliver a freebie. And in that video, I cover how to create an inline form. So I'll link that in the cards above and in the description below for you. To access our embed codes, we're gonna come over into our Flowdesk dashboard and come into forms. And then from there, you wanna find the form that you wanna embed in your site. So I'm going to use this one. And then you wanna click on the three little dots in the top right hand corner and hit embed. And this is gonna take you directly to the page with all the codes that you need. And you're gonna have two codes here. We're gonna have the header code and the inline code. So the first thing we need to do is actually embed the header code within the header tag of the page that we wanna have our form. So we're gonna copy this header code and then from there come across to our Show It website. Find the page that you want to embed the inline form. And then on the right hand side, access the advanced settings. And this very top one here that says custom head HTML, you want to click on that to edit it and then paste in that header code and click save. This is basically going to allow your Show It website and Flowdesk to communicate with each other to embed those forms on your site. The next thing we need to do is go back and copy the inline form from Flowdesk. So coming back across, I'm going to click copy on the inline code, come back in to show it, and then I'm going to actually access the page and open the canvas that I want to embed that form. And then from there, what we want to do is come down here and select embed code. And that's gonna give you an iframe or embed code panel here. And to embed the actual code on the right hand side under embed info, you wanna click custom code and then paste in that form code there and hit save. Now, unfortunately you won't be able to see the form appear from the editor. So to view the form, you just come up here and click preview on the page and you'll be able to see a preview of your form just there. So then you may have to go back and forth and tweak the actual frame here just a little bit just to make sure that you're able to see the entire form. Depending on what sort of form you've used, make sure that you're, if you've got an image in your form, it's not cut off or anything like that. And just keep checking that preview. And then once you're happy with it, you can just hit publish on your site and then that form will be there. Okay, I'm excited to share this next step with you, which is going to be embedding the inline form within your blog post. I'm very excited to share it with you because it took me quite a while to figure this one out. I could not find a clear instruction on it anywhere on the internet, uh, so I eventually figured it out. Now I'm going to share it with you. So to embed a form within your blog post, so I'm not talking um, at the end within your template, or within the sidebar, I'm talking about within the content of your actual blog post. The reason this was so important for me to figure out initially was because I just feel like when I'm putting opt-in forms within my blog post, I want them to sit in the most natural spot. And that's generally, for me anyway, towards the end of my blog posts, but before the conclusion. To do that, we need to come back into Flowdesk and copy the header code once again. Come back to show it. And we need to access the single blog post template that we have within our WordPress templates. So you can see here, single post template. So that's the template that we use to create the layout for our blog posts. And you wanna come and embed, make sure that you've embedded that header code within the custom head HTML of that single blog, uh, that single post template. Once you've done that, just hit save. So that's going to once again allow Flowdesk and Show It to talk to each other on that particular page. 
From there, we want to come back into Flowdesk again and copy our inline code. Now from here, we need to access the actual blog post within our WordPress login. So from our WordPress login, we're going to access all of our posts and open up the posts that we want to embed our form. So I'm going to edit the blog post that's already written for this particular video, which we have here. Now I'm just going to scroll through and decide where it is within the blog post that I want to embed that form. And about here looks pretty good. So I'm going to hover over so I can get our edit bar and I'm going to click add block. And I want to add a HTML block, so a custom HTML block. You're going to get this bar just here and we just want to paste that code right there. Once you've pasted that code there, it won't actually, once again, it's not going to show your form within your blog post. But you can preview that by coming up here and clicking preview and then preview in new tab. So once WordPress has generated that preview, you can scroll down and you'll be able to see just here that your form is actually embedded within your blog post. Then you can just go ahead and hit update, schedule, post, whatever it is that you want to do with your blog post and your form is good to go. Now if you want to go ahead and embed several different opt-in forms within a blog post or different types for different posts, then you can absolutely do that. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to give the video a like, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, bye guys.